Hi Year 11, I'm Miss Green and I'm the History Lead at Haggerston and I'm here to tell you about why you should study A-level history. So why study history? Um, history gives you a really broad range of knowledge about the world, um, the past, the present, outside of our own bubble which we live in. Knowledge is power and I don't think there's anything um, and any better tool that history equips you with than an understanding of the world around you, why we are the way we are and how we got here. Um, also, it helps you to question the world around you. So we learn from the mistakes of the past, we gain a grasp of what a really good present and future looks like, um, and we kind of get the confidence to question what's around us. There's a chance to debate, discuss, question in every single A-level history lesson. Um, history helps you to develop your power of communication, your power of argument, challenge, support. Um, and also, it's an impressive and incredibly well-respected A-level um, in all industries. And also it helps you develop valuable skills of independent study, time management, organisation, um, which you will apply to degrees, apprenticeships, careers, whatever you want to do for the rest of your life. So what does the A-level history curriculum look like at Haggerston? For your first paper, you will have a look at um, a paper we call In Search of the American Dream. This is worth 30% of your final qualification. Um, you'll study the USA in its fight for rights, freedoms and greater equalities throughout the 20th century. You'll look at the really dramatic political, economic and social transformation that takes, um, takes place in the United States. And you'll do a depth study into this period, which saw massive, massive change um, and the kind of harsh truth of its own inequalities that the USA had to face at home with things like the civil rights movement and also its involvement in more international conflict. So drawing on any prior knowledge that you have of the Cold War and <clears throat> World War Two. Um, it will help you analyse change over time and also you'll use your interpretation skills to challenge um, the arguments of other historians. So as you can see, it's broken down into five key topics, the changing political environment, the change in society and culture, the change in quality of life, quest for civil rights and the impact of the Reagan presidency as your kind of interpretation step study. So at the same time, parallel to that in year 12, you will learn about South Africa 1948 to 1994. So you can already see that big global picture that A-level history is helping you build. So you'll study South Africa during a time of massive, massive transition. Um, it was a really long and at times incredibly dramatic process in which South Africa goes from being a white supremacist based apartheid segregated state into a multi-racial democracy. Um, you're going to evaluate the value of sources um, from historians and also analyse key themes over time. You'll start with the responses to apartheid initially, the radicalisation of resistance and the um, anti-apartheid movement, um, challenges to the apartheid government, and then how it all ends up with the dismantling of apartheid and the creation of what they called a rainbow nation. On into year 13 and you will start studying Britain the loss and gain of an empire from 1763 to 1914. It's 30% your final qualification. And this is my favourite thing that I've ever taught. Um, we start with breadth studies, looking at the British Empire and the part it played in the world in terms of its Royal Navy, its merchant marine, its trade and how it created this massive global empire. And then we'll look at depth studies into America, Australia, Canada, India and Egypt. This won't be taught from a sort of pro-British imperial um, stance. It will be taught really, really interrogating the British Empire, how it impacted the world, the way that native um, and indigenous people were treated, the legacy of the British Empire and really view it as a whole. Um, so as you can see, it's broken down here into seven sections. We've got trade, the Navy and then those depth studies, um, looking into how Britain lost the American colonies, how they founded what is now modern Western Australia, um, the building of the political system in Canada, uh, nearly losing the kind of crown in the British um, empires, the jewel in the British empire's crown in India, um, and the terrible consequences of the trouble that the British got in, in the Nile Valley in Egypt and in the Sudan. Alongside that paper three, you'll do your coursework. This is 20% of your final qualification, and this is an excellent chance for you to get a really strong base in before you sit your exams. Um, this again will build on all of that lovely prior knowledge that you have from GCSE. Um, 
it will kind of carry on from where you left off at GCSE um, as your coursework will focus on the causes of the Holocaust and how the Nazis ended up with the final solution of the Holocaust. So your coursework will be um, forming critical views based on research and reading of other historians and really attacking those historians, interrogating their work and coming up with your final opinion based on that. So there's an overview if you just wanted to pause and have a look at all of that again of what the four uh, different sections of your course will look like. And I just wanted to say a little bit about the career paths that A-level history can help prepare you for. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, you're going to come out of an A-level in history with strong communication, analytical skills, um, great skills of argument, persuasion. You'll be able to handle massive amounts of evidence and make really good decisions based on that. Um, and that is always impressive and attractive to universities, apprenticeships, employers. Um, history A-level is a great stepping stone into so many industries, but in particular, law, economics, politics, the media, advertising, finance, journalism, education and business and any sort of management, amongst other areas. So if you've got any questions at all, you want to know more about A-level at Haggerston, please email me on the email address on the screen. Thank you.